Abeng. Walau, just now I was at the kopi tiap ma. Tell you, everybody keep complaining, complaining, complaining. Very irritating. Singaporeans complain all the time. I know, but today we found someone who doesn't complain about Singapore. In fact, he loves it. And he's from Sweden. Really? Confirm. All right, we're here at the classic void deck, the heart of Singapore, Upper Boon Keng Road. <laughs> to get an outsider's perspective of what it means to live in Singapore. We're here with Anders. Anders, how many years have you been in Singapore now? Uh, two years, slightly more than two years, if you include the time I was studying here. So Anders, do you live the classic expat life? You know, you're down at Muddy Murphy's drinking a beer and book key every night? Uh, I wouldn't say so, because I don't get my flat paid by the company and that kind of stuff. Okay, so where um, do you live? Uh, Yot Chukang. You serious? In the heartlands, man. So you've been here for two years, Anders. What would you say are the unique things about Singapore? It's clean and, you know, I love, the sun is nice and, you know, it's very organized. Lee Kuan Yew is nice. <laughs> You're a big fan. Do you have his poster on your wall? I have his book. And I don't know, I guess I like that he's also quite, I mean, he's quite strict. Don't you feel a bit smothering? A bit too controlled? Ah, uh, but I mean, it keeps the people in check, I guess. I mean, Sweden, you know, we also have laws and stuff, but then, uh, I don't know, I feel like people are doing uh, too much shit. Polluting, vandalism. I mean, here you got Kane, you got the death penalty and that you like kind of that? stuff. Yeah, I'm probably pro-death penalty, yeah. Okay, I cannot have this conversation. Oh. It's choking me. <laughs> it's, very, it's very liberal, this one. Yes. Singapore seems to have a lot of uh, dating campaigns, in a sense, to try and get singles together. Do you think Singaporeans are quite hopeless when it comes to love? No, I don't think, I think those single parties are quite good. So you think that the government helping us will be like a faster way to get like love? So are they government sponsored? Yep, because I just received a letter in the mailbox yeah, from SDU. You get, whenever you get to 30 and you're <laughs> still not married, they start to send you mail. I know, three letters, right? First, to invite me to join SDU. Second, to invite me to their party, which is Aloha theme. <laughs> <laughs> The third one was my membership form to pay for the membership to SDU. So you're a big fan of Singapore, obviously, but what are some of the things you don't like about Singapore? Don't like Yasu. Yasu? Yeah, I mean, MRT, you have to exit. Cannot, people are coming in. <laughs> and same, you know, the bus, I've been standing waiting for 10 minutes, then someone, the bus comes, someone comes up, whoop, enters the bus before me, although I waited for 10 minutes, and she just came. What is that? So how about Singlish? Have you got uh, grips with the lingo in Singapore? Can't laugh. Do you know any swear words? Mm, chibai. Chibai rocks, yeah. yeah. Chodapian. Chodapian. Well, yeah. that's very sophisticated for and smelly shit. And also the one Bansai. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> Spot on. I should try to learn some swear words. Well, teach me a new one. Hmm, let's see. You know Kalina, I say that all the time. You do. Oh, yeah, you combine it with the Chibai one. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's like the, the god of all swear words here, you know? Yeah, Kalina beats out Chibai. A bit too long. I, chibai works well. Okay, so right now, right, we're gonna have a face off. The Patriot versus the Singaporean versus the... PR. PR. So I've lived in Singapore for four years, Anders has been here for two years, and Roz has been here for 49 years, all of her life. <laughs> no, 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 but she has lived here her whole life. She's Singaporean, so we're going to see who knows the Singaporean trivia best. So question number one, who is the president of Singapore? And something. SR Nathan. Well... Indian dude with the silver hair. I couldn't think of his name. I'm very embarrassed right now. The president of Singapore, Xiaomi, got it right. S. R. Nathan. That's right. One zero zero. The newest expressway in Singapore is the KPE. What does KPE stand for? K something P something Express. Keppel Expressway. Kalang Paya Lebar Expressway. The correct answer is Shan gets another point. Kalang Paya Lebar Expressway. How many different types of offences are there in Singapore? Is it A, around 10,000, B, around 25,000, or C, around 40,000? I think any country has numerous, numerous offences. I'm going to go for the biggest one, 40,000. Including the ridiculous anti-gay law and the no-chewing gum law, I think there's about 40,000. I think there's only 10K. And the answer is C! Bopian is a very commonly used Singlish term in Singapore. What does it mean and use it in a sentence? I have to go back to work. Bopian. Oh, uh, what does it mean? Uh, no choice. I don't know Bopian actually. I thought it was that um, Paranakan sort of rap thing. Bopian. 
Isn't it? That's bopian. Is it the same? <laughs> no, bopian is not a food. Got to stop ordering that then at the hawker. Bopian is no choice, right? So when I join 987 FM, they give me this one, bopian, no? So, Andrew, you've been to Singapore for two years. You must have heard of durian. What do you think of durian? No. It smells like shit, so it probably tastes like shit. <laughs> no, you gotta try it. I tried the ice cream, I tried some fried durian thing. But uh, now, actually, I never really tried the, the fruit, but everything, everyone says you gotta have the, 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 the fresh fruit. So, we've got like the king of all Asian fruits, the durian. Okay, I'll give you the, the small piece. Eat the whole piece? Okay. No, you just take Whoa. a little. <laughs> it looks like some dead skinned rat, right? But it tastes so good. I didn't know it was so soft. Yeah. Is it supposed to be this soft? Yeah. It's like rotten flesh. Okay. Go for it. It's sweet, bitter, creamy custard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the texture at all. Almost puked. Yeah. <laughs> First time I ever had that almost puked in my mouth. Your turn. I've tried it before. I know I hate it. Cannot tahan. Confirm. Sorry. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah. Look at this man, he needs a paramedic. <laughs> well, Anders, like me, I'm pretty sure you're never gonna eat durian again. Yes, never. But thanks for being a sport today, trying the fruit, yeah. telling us about your experience here in Singapore. So what if I didn't know what the KPE stood for? True Bull Singaporeans eat durian. Anyway, catch us on radio uh, Monday to Friday, 4 to 8 p.m. on 987FM. And look out for more episodes on clicknetwork.tv.